What's going on guys, Vic VP back, one of the Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be doing a complete install, Fight K2 with ROM set. So if you take a look at a couple weeks back, I made a video on Fight K2 and how to install it, but apparently websites got updated and some things got changed, and some people basically got a little bit lost, and it didn't look the same as when I recorded it. So... From popular demand, we're going to reinstall Fight K2 completely. I have a brand new PC. I have nothing installed on this, so we're going to literally go step by step and do it together. So here we go. Follow my steps, and hopefully it should work. I'm not going to cut anything here because I figure with this tutorial, we'll go step by step. Timing and stuff will be basically exact. First thing I highly suggest you do is go to the comments down below, or I should say the description down below, and download the mega link. Do that first. It's a 13 gig link. So might as well do that while we install the other stuff. So just press download. You will need uTorrent. So be prepared for that. You're going to get this little pop-up. Do open. And basically your uTorrent will open up. And it's going to basically say what's inside the folder. Just note where it is being saved. That's the only big thing. Press OK. And then let it download. I have it already. So it, it, yours should start saying downloading. Depending on your internet speed, it might take about maybe 15 minutes. For me, it took like 10 minutes. Some people might take an hour. Depends on your internet speed. Next thing we're going to go is we're going to go to fightk.com. Just go to fightk.com, and you'll see this window here. We're going to go right here to get the new beta. Once you get that, you press Save File. Just a heads up, Firefox does give a warning that there is a virus. I'm not responsible for anything you do. Don't message me. I don't give a shit. I'm not responsible. I always suggest emulation ha should have its own PC. Don't mix emulation with your own personal stuff because something might happen. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go here. I'm going to press open and basically allow it. It's going to basically launch the EXE. So we're going to run it. Do you want to install? Yes. Where do you want to install it? I'm going to leave it where it is now. So this is going to my documents folder, Fight Kate. So we're going to press OK on that. And we're going to let it install. While it's doing that, you should go right here to register on Fightcade and make an account. There's no verification process to it, so might as well just fill that out real quick because you do need a login and such. Let it do its thing. You will need to run the DirectX runtime, so we're going to let it do its thing. I'm going to press yes. We're going to press OK and accept. And let it do its thing. Again, no cuts. Excuse me, getting a couple work texts. Again, rather not make any cuts. Literally going to let it do its thing. So we have our uTorrent downloading. Mine's already done. We have DirectX installing. And you should basically have your Fightcade registered and stuff. Cool. We're going to press finish, and we call it a day. It's going to go through its thing still. It's probably going to tell us, see, Fightcade was successfully installed. Awesome. We're going to go into our, basically, Windows Explorer. We're going to go to Documents, because that's where it's saved to. And you can see now we do have a Fightcade um, folder. Uh, right now, basically, the uTorrent should be done. If not, wait for it to be done. We're going to locate where the uTorrent is. It's on my downloads. Should be labeled just like that, FBA. We're going to literally take all these files, folders. We're just going to press copy. We're going to go back into our documents, Fightcade, and here's where we're going to put it. We're going to go into Emulator, Final Burn Neo, ROMs. This is empty. Yours should be empty too. You're going to press Paste. Let it go through its thing. It might take a minute or two. There is also a little kind of shortcut. If you went into Fightcade, you go to ROMs. And basically, these are shortcuts to the ROM. So if you go to Final Burn Neo, it's literally going to bring up where we just pasted it. So I'm not a fan of shortcuts. I'd rather teach you guys the right way to do it. There is one big um, mishap that I did notice as far as the um, Mega link. And it's actually right here. It's misspelled on Mega Drive. It's missing the E. So make sure you add the E to Mega Drive. Doesn't really matter. I just like to keep things clean. Um, either way, we're going to have to 
assign and configure the ROM paths. Basically, right now, we are just waiting for it to go and download. Do not open up Fight K just yet. Let it finish the download. Let it do its thing. Don't interrupt it. Again, not planning to do any cuts. This way, you guys could see it. Me, personally, when I watch tutorials, I don't like pressing pause on YouTube and you know going back and forth. Uh, that's just me. So be sure, again, check me out at Vic underscore VP on Instagram. I post a lot. You guys see on the YouTube videos and stuff. So keep up to date. Subscribe. Hit that bell. I got I to gotta put that plug in <laughs> while we wait. Might as well wait. And it's pretty easy. Just a couple more steps, and then we will be good. Um, I did notice that you do have to assign the ROM paths. There's already pre-made paths, but they don't read correctly because of where the folder is located. So you might as well just take the step and do it. We have our ROMs. We're going to go back here to FB Neo, and we're going to launch this, FCADE FB Neo. This is basically like where we're going to see and we have to assign things like our inputs and stuff. First thing is, let's do our ROM paths. We're going to go to miscellaneous, configure ROM paths. This might be a pain in the ass, but we're going to have to basically assign all those folders. So we're going to press browse. We're going to locate now basically our ROMs folder. So it's under documents. It's under Ficate, emulator, FB Neo, ROMs. And we're going to have to do a, po a path for each one of these. So it's pretty easy to do it that way. You could, if you want, like copy this now, paste it, and then basically we could locate again or type it out. But it might be a little tedious. You're just going to have to do it. Be safe. Do this. Take this step. It's going to literally take you maybe three minutes to do this. ROMs. And we are going for the next one. The real main ones you should be doing is basically the MAM Arcade one. So I'm going to do that right now. You will keep going and keep assigning each ROM path for each folder. Um, I'm right now just going to basically do the MAM Arcade one, which is ROMs. Press OK. That's all we're doing. You will do each path. There is pre-made paths. They will not be legible. They will not be readable. I've tried it already. It wasn't readable. Um, I, I had to wind up just basically going to each directory. Once you do that, you press OK. And it's going to scan the ROMs. It's basically locating. Honestly, for me, I would, you should probably mostly do... You should do all of them. Because uh, with, with this new Fight K2, there's more games, and there's actually people playing those systems, um, like the NES and, um, and the Coleco and stuff. So might as well, you have the ROMs, do it correctly, make the ROM path. You could essentially cancel this, I'm not going to cancel it, but um, I'll just let it rock. Again, some people might be going, oh, I could just go to ROMs, comma, like I did in my last video. For some reason on this one right here, it wasn't reading it, so just do the ROM path, trust me. So, big thing right now is we're going to go to game, and we're going to go to load game. And basically, it's going to find and show us all the games that we have. So if I show, like, show available, it'll show all the games that we have as far as what I've assigned it to. So right now, definitely all the MAM arcade games will work. So if I look up Metal Slug, don't press Enter, just give it a second. And if I double click, it will work. Before, if I didn't assign the path, it gave me a big list of errors. So just do yourself a favor, assign the path. Once you launch a game, you should go into Input and you could basically now map the inputs. Don't do each game, don't waste your time, but just so at least you could test it, you could do one game, but don't waste your time, trust me. Now that that works, we're gonna exit. We're gonna go back, and we have to go back into our main Fightcade folder, and we're gonna launch Fightcade 2. Inside this new download that they did, they do even have Fightcade 1, which is cool, but Fightcade 2 is the most one. When you launch Fightcade 2, it's gonna do an, an updater, let it do its thing, I'm not touching anything. Let it do its thing. It's going to go through maybe... It might open and close a couple of things. It's just updating. And now we opened up. See that? We got to download fighting. Fightcade update. So it's still updating. And again, it's doing this on its own. So just let it go through its update. 
And again, be sure that you are registered with Fightcade. This way, right when this opens up, it's going to ask you to log in. You will need to log in with the registered account that you made. So now that this is back, you should see this. I'm already logged in. You should really see this when you first enter. You're going to put in your username and password. Cool. Now it's just like my, my last video. You could come here. This won't be here. There's going to be a plus. And you can basically see all the games that people are playing. So that's why I said don't assign each game. Don't waste your time. Because like right now, if I look up Metal Slug, there's like one person playing, which it's really not one person. If I click join, it's like, oh, there's one person here. But he's not available. So don't waste your time assigning everything. You kind of want to see what games people are playing and then go in from there. So I'm going to erase this. We'll go and check out like uh, Street Fighter 2. See here? Street Fighter 2, this has 21 people. I'm going to press join. And the big thing now is I'm not going to challenge anybody yet. I'm going to test the game. That should boot. Once you're here, map your buttons now. And then even before you start playing, you want to kind of make sure that it all works. So let's just wait for the loading screen to go. You could do full screen. I'm putting in the credits. I don't have any um, audio because my, uh, my audio is not really linked up to my uh, sound card. And you just want to make sure that everything works. So I'm literally using a keyboard right now. You could assign anything you want. Once you know that it works, you exit out, and then you could basically start challenging people. So I could just send out some challenges, and that's really it. So again, Fight K2, totally updated. The biggest thing, I can't stress it enough. You must do this. It's tedious, but you must do this. Just go here and assign each individual ROM path. You're going to want to do that. Trust me, it should look just like this. Unfortunately, I said I thought, at least on my other video, it worked. But apparently with this one, it, it doesn't read this correctly. So ignore that. Your ROM paths should have all this. The C drive, it, whatever you saved it to, it should look just like this. It should be a very big line. That's really it. Fight K2, ROM set down below. Let me know if you guys need any help.